Hey guys and welcome back. Well, after a long weekend, it's time for a new modeling video in Maya. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to create a serrated edge on, uh, for example, a knife, okay? But before we jump into today's video, I want to express a huge, huge, huge congratulations to Dogwood Gaming, my sponsor. These guys had their second anniversary on April 1st, okay? So congratulations, Dogwood team, uh, keep on going. And that said, let's jump into today's video, here we go. All right, guys, well, we have a huge close up of a serrated edge of a knife right here, and that's what we're going to address. Okay, now creating serrated edges is not that difficult, but it seems that a lot of people are struggling with it. Okay, so let's go into our perspective view. Let's get rid of our uh, image here. I'm going to go up to um, display and turn on my grid. And we're simply going to take a cube that's going to represent a section of our knife. Okay, so I'm going to hit R to scale that out. Push it down, pull it out like this. So that's just gonna be a section. And then we're gonna go in to insert edge loop, option box, uh, let's see, single setting, that's fine. We'll put in an edge right there, okay? Hit Q on the keyboard. Then we're gonna select this edge and hit W and push that down. So we kind of get a sloped angle there. And now we need to add a bunch of edge loops. Now keep in mind that whenever you want to do a serrated edge like this, it's never going to be a low poly model. So you can either do it for a high poly model or you can use this technique to create a high poly model to bake onto your low poly for a normal map, right? So let's see, we're going to go back into our uh, injured edge loop option box. I'm going to set it to multiple and set it to two. So I can now go in and put in two here, two there, two there, two there. Keep on going. And while I'm doing this, I just want to remind you that if everything goes well, I hope to hit 75,000 subscribers on this channel, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. Like I said, I hope to achieve that. And if I do, there is a crazy, crazy, crazy giveaway lined up. And I'm talking serious stuff, right? I'm talking computer monitors, I'm talking software really really cool okay so make sure you don't miss that all right so if you're not subscribed make sure you do okay so let's see we got this we're going to go in i'm going to queue on my keyboard i'm going to right click at a vertex and what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the one at the end and i'm going to select three of these skip one shift select three of these and just keep on going all right i'm going to w i'm going to push that up like this and I chose for an even uh, serrated surface. You can go wide and small if you like, but you know, it's just uh, easier to do this. So let's uh, make sure we got those middle sections. We'll just move that up like this. Okay, fine. So we got that. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click and go to edge and we're gonna take that edge right there and shift double click on it and what we're gonna do is you're gonna push that upwards and how far you push that upwards is up to you of course but that will give you this effect right here now it kind of depends on whether you want this to be uh, smooth out or not you can do that but if you do you need to add some additional edge loops okay so this is how that would look uh, you know as is and if you want to do that you for example have to go in and let's see we're gonna set that to single you would have to go in and uh, add a few. So you'd put in one right there. You'd have one right here. We'll flip it over. You'd have one on the back right there. You'd have one here, here. Uh, you get the idea, right? Okay, and then maybe even here, if you want this edge to be very obvious, what you can do is go in, and I'm just gonna go to face here and select this face, and double click on this one, and you could hit Control E to extrude, and then hit W and push it down. And once you smooth that out by hitting three, you'll have a nice little edge line going on there, okay? 
So I'm just going to turn off my display here so you can see it well. And that's all there's to it, guys. That's how you make a serrated edge, okay? Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And if you don't want to miss out on the big giveaway, all right? Okay, see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.